Whoa, this is a good day for Club 365 Tool Belt. So if you've been following the journey, we're on a mission at Club 365 to automate our entire business as much as we can because we run a training academy and we have a lot of manual tasks to do, which just all these tiny tasks take up a lot of time. So we're using AI heavily. So you can see that I've built the Club 365 Tool Belt here, tool belt here and most of these tools wrap around open AI so they use open AI so they do equivalent of sending off a request to chat GPT we get the response back and it's useful little tools that are all templated for us we're also building a load of standalone tools but that's not what today's video is about because yesterday if you followed along you will have seen yesterday I announced that I'd finished my PCF component that builds a dynamic control dynamic form based on JSON that we pass in so we described the JSON we pass it into this control and it automatically draws itself. And we've got support for text boxes, select, so pull down lists like you can see here, check boxes and also date of birth, date of birth, daytime papers. So there's the four we're going to do. We're going to do more going forward, but it's really useful for us because it's really got me thinking. And so yesterday I came up with this idea of how can we create a, how can we use AI to create more tools? So how can we get AI to make more tools here for us without some to think about the tools? We just want to describe the tool we want and we want AI to go create it. And I got so far and I was thinking it gave me a whole new idea. And the idea being is, wouldn't it be absolutely great if we got AI to create us a form based on what we specify? So let me just show you so I make this clear. So... On here, we've got, so we should have one, I think it's an experimental, called Demo to AI Form. And it says, this will make a form appear here based on the form you subscribe here. So basically saying, what information do you want on the form? So this is going to be the equivalent of creating a form just by writing about the form. And then what happens when we get the response back from OpenAI, OpenAI knows all about our code that creates the JSON form because I've taught it, it knows about it. You can see in the prompt we send in, it's actually got all the source code, so it knows exactly what to send back. And so what's gonna happen is that once I fill this in, we're gonna describe the form we want, and we're gonna get a form here. But I just wanna check one thing first. I think this is invisible. I've got a control, you yeah. know. So here's my control, my JSON control. Currently it says it's invalid JSON simply because there is no JSON set, which is perfect. Here's a quote I've actually already got in here. So I would like you to create me a staff opinion survey that asks the staff members about things like remote working, the canteen food, the boss, the social side of work, the work-life balance. Also, I had industry standard questions there because I'm a bit brain dead. I also want to check if they have booked their holiday this year. And plus, I want their opinion as free text. You probably don't need to specify that because it's clever enough to work it out. So I'm going to try and run that now. And if this has worked, you should see that invalid JSON disappear. And if this has worked, that's so cool because I've got so many uses for this. Come on. Love AI. There you go. So what have we come up with? Oh, look at that. It did pick a daytime picker for the birthday. Oh, I like that. How do you feel about working? Cool. I love it. How do you rate the canteen food? Oh, excellent. Good. How do you feel about your boss? I don't have an opinion. How do you feel about the social side of work? Enjoy it. How do you feel about the work-life balance? It's balanced. Have you booked holiday this year? Checkbox. And is a free text thing. So how cool is that? That's absolutely brilliant. One thing we could have a bit of a play with. Make the questions very light-hearted and very humorous. Make them giggle. Oh, I can't spell, I can't spell, make them giggle. Run. So let's run that one. All right, what's it coming now? How do you find remote, remote working? Is it your cat helping you type? <laughs> Rate our canteen food. Does it remind you of grandma's cooking? What do you think about the boss? Remember, honesty is the best policy. How's the social side of work? Many new imaginary friends lately. <laughs> How's the work-life balance? Or has, it become your, has work become your life? Have you booked your holiday this year or are you planning to explore the depths of your couch? When's your birthday? We promise not to send you a singing telegram. 
Any other thoughts, jokes, or such a crisis you like to share? So it's done a good job of that. It's just a funny version. So how do we do that? It's actually really simple. So we look at this run button here. And just remember here, this form is also another JSON form. So we've got two JSON forms in here. One that actually, in the first pass, collects the information from the user, creates a prompt for AI, sends that up, and then we've got another one here that shows the results. So I'm using it for input and output. So how do we do it? Click the run button and let's have a look at it on select. Let's expand that. So here we go. So we've got a Power Automate flow called Toolbelt Sync and that's called the run method. And we pass in the entire output from that first JSON form that you saw on the left hand side of the screen. So that's all JSON. We pass that up and then we also pass up the slacked little helper output method I've created, which is where I take that form and I match, if you've got a matching label in the text string, so with a moustache, prompt one, moustache, moustache, if prompt one's in the form, I replace it, so I substitute, so it's like a templating thing. So I send that up, and that goes straight into OpenAI, because it's really useful for me. And then that's just some infrastructure stuff, so ignore that. When we get the response back, I do something that's used to the other tool. We don't need to worry about that now. I just set a new conversation GUI that's come back from there. That's all. And then... Remember, it's in var response. A var response has conversation ID, plus it also has, we go look at this one, and we look here, and look at that, var response dot response. Now that's the response that comes back from OpenAI. So just to show you, this is the flow. So what happened is I think we went down this leg of the switch, so we run an AI chat completion, which calls the child flow, which goes off OpenAI, passes the prompt up to say, I want to create your form. OpenAI does its work. We store the response in a variable. And then finally, we store it to SharePoint. And then finally, after that, we send down the conversation ID, which we're not using for this demo purposes. But then we also send the response down from ChatGPT. So just to take a look at the type of prompt I created, and I will have a look at this. Let's edit that and let's find the prompt. Control A, Control C. It took me a bit of work to get this going properly. So I'm going to paste that in there. So what I said, so this is the prompt I sent up to OpenAI. Generate me some JSON that can be passed into the JSON form input parameter contained in the PCF Re React component below. My goal is to take the JSON string you supply and set it on a running instance of the JSON form. You will be called by a computer program, program, so I only require the JSON, no explanation or extra formatting. No human will ever read your response. Sorry. The JSON you will return will describe a brand new form that serves the following purpose. Now, that's a placeholder, and that's equivalent to... Let me just drag that out of the way. That's equivalent to what they type in here. So, effectively, we take that and we merge it into there, and then that becomes the prompt. And you, literally, you could copy and paste that and stick it to ChatBT, and you'd get the same response as we're getting into our program, which is a load of JSON. So in fact, let me just do that. Oh no, I won't, because I'm got it logged. I'm not logged in. I'll show you the JSON that comes back. So finally, here's the code. So what I did, if you saw my previous video, I had this idea that we could do this by, because OpenAI can actually understand code, and it can understand this very well. So if you tell it about the code, it's going to make no issues with compilation. It's going to know about all of the schema of all the parameters that go into it. So I taught it about the code. And it's pretty much, I reckon, 100% of the time going to give me valid JSON that's going to draw one of these forms until I change the control, obviously. If I had a new type like the SharePoint picker, this thing's probably going to struggle, so I'd have to update the code here. But that was a little bit of a challenge to get it because you couldn't really stop OpenAI waffling. And the way I managed to get it stopping to waffle was about you will be called by a computer program, no human will ever read your response. So I think that told it to shut up and just give me the actual JSON I needed. So that's all cool. If you want to see an example of the JSON, I've got one here actually, because I was going to show you. This is it. Let's bring this one in. There you go. So this is a JSON schema that I've created. You could have multiple fails in here. So this is the ID, purpose of the form, a label, and also the type. So we can have type, text, we can have select, we can have checkbox, and we can have date pickers. 
a default value to set when the screen first loads. They, they're quite useful actually getting people started because sometimes people are scratching there and what kind of thing have I got to say? So that's quite useful. Whether it's multi-line, so whether it's single or extended, what you want to create, that's it. And so you could have as many of them as you want. And as obviously as you've seen, what ChatGPT has just done is it's just recreated this one that's going to be massive. So I think if I go and get, let's just set this to, do, 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 do. so this is a text. So let's go and set it to dot. No, let's go set it to Jason. No, var response. Var response dot response. That should be Jason. Right, let's just run that and then yeah. So you see what it's done there, remote working. So if I look there, it's asked about remote working and it says, how do you find remote working? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then canteen food, you obviously canteen food, grandma's cooking. So you can see when it's come down to this first select one here, which is about canteen food. No, not at all. Absolutely, I feel at home. So you're rating the canteen food, which is perfect. The boss, text, and then this date one down here to do with birthday is that one there says type of date and that's it so it's really cool i absolutely love it and so this is obviously the cloud 365 tool but it's currently a tool that we'll build in internally we may choose to if there's interest of course to offer some kind of training on it or maybe even share it out i don't know but the point is you could do something like this yourself if you start to use open ai in a very creative way so if you've got some code that you know, i don't know maybe builds a form or does something maybe AI can be intermingled into some of your dev processes now because you can go to AI, AI and you can get it to provide a structured output the code can understand. You can then feed, you can put it into part of your processes. And it's very interesting for me that because it means you can start to chain a load of calls together and do some really quite amazing things. Like you could probably get this thing down here to return some code. You could get, in fact, you could get open AI to return some code here that you could probably then use to go and run some code inside of Microsoft 365, which that's interesting. <laughs> Radio, okay, see you later. I hope that's useful. I hope that's inspired you a little bit. Come and join us in the Club 365 if you want to have more of a discussion.